Hello and welcome, dear learners, once again to Mathlete Mind. We continue our journey of trigonometric ratios, part two. Now, in the previous video, we have already discussed about the values of different trigonometrical ratios ranging from sine, cos, tan, to cosec, sec, and cot. And the values that we took up were from 0 to 90 degree, because that is what is in the prescribed syllabi of class 10. Now, moving on, we will work, be working out some more numericals based on trigonometric ratios to understand its applications in a broader perspective. Now, before I take up the questions, may I humbly request each one of you to kindly like, share, and subscribe to the channel as much as possible. Beginning with the first question over here, we are given here sine a plus b is equal to 1. So this means, this implies that this is equal to sine of 90 degree. So this concludes, or we can get the inference from here that a plus b is equal to 90 degree. Now here sine a plus b is equal to 1 is sine 90. Please do not uh, take the trouble of cancelling out sine from both the sides because sine a plus b does not mean it is a product of sine and a plus b. Sine 90 does not mean it is a product of sine and 90 degree. So here we cannot cancel out this but this implies that a plus b is 90 degree. The second condition that is given is cos a minus b is equal to 1. So this is equal to cos of 0 degree. So a minus b is equal to 0 degree, which implies that a is equal to b. Both the angles are equal. And a plus b is 90 degrees. So if we put the value here of a, b as equal to a, we get 2a is 90 degree, which implies a is 45 degree and b is also 45 degree. So here both the conditions are being justified. a can be equal to b or greater than b. So a and b both are equal as 45 and sum of a plus b is equal to 90 degree. So this is how we have to work it out. The next question over here is evaluate tan square 60 plus 4 cos square 45 plus 3 sec square 30 plus 5 cos square 90. So we'll just put the values here and simplify. Tan 60 is root 3. So this becomes root 3 whole square. Cos 45 is 1 by root 2. So this becomes 1 by root 2 whole square. Sec 30 is 2 by root 3. So this becomes 2 by root 3 whole square. Cos 90 is equal to 5 into 0. So this becomes 3 plus 4 into half plus 3 into 4 by 3 plus 0. So this 3 and 3 get cancelled. 2 2 is 4. So we are left with 3 plus 2 plus 4 that is equal to uh, 9. So the final answer is 9 over here. Next question is tan theta plus cot theta is 2 then find the value of tan 7 theta plus cot 7 theta and theta is also an acute angle. So this condition that is given we take the condition over here tan theta plus cot theta is equal to 2. So this can be written as tan theta plus 1 by tan theta is equal to 2. Taking the LCM and simplifying, we'll get here tan square theta plus 1 is equal to 2 tan theta. Now, simplifying this further, we can rewrite this as tan square theta minus 2 tan theta plus 1 is equal to 0. So this can be written as tan theta minus 1 the whole square because this is basically an expansion of a minus b the whole square. So from here we get the value of tan theta is equal to 1 which is equal to tan 45 degree. So the values are same. So theta is 45 degree. Now taking this expression tan 7 theta plus cot 7 theta this can be written as for tan 45 degree whole to the power of 7 plus cot 45 degree whole to the power of 7. So this becomes 1 to the power of 7 plus 1 to the power of 7 that is equal to 1 plus 1 that is 2. 1 raised to any index is 1. And here if you notice over here, whenever we get uh, whatever index this tan 7 uh, theta and cot 7 theta are raised, uh, we'll always get the value as 2 over here because 1 raised to any index is always 1. Provided we are given tan theta plus cot theta is equal to 2. The next question is if x is 30, 
then verify that sin x is equal to under root 1 minus cos 2x by 2. So if x is 30, 2x will be equal to 60 degree. So left hand side of this equation is sin x that means sin 30 degree. So this is equal to sin 30 degree that is equal to half. So the left hand side is equal to half. Right hand side what happens to the right hand side? This can be taken as 1 minus cos 60 degree divided by 2. So this becomes equal to 1 minus cos 60 is half by 2. So this can be written as 1 by 2 into 2 and the square root of this will be 1 by 2. So the left hand side is also half, the right hand side is also half. So we get here left hand side equal to the right hand side. So the verification has been done. The next question is a rhombus of side 20 cm has two angles of 60 degree each. Find the length of the diagonal. Now before we solve this question, we'll discuss this properties of a rhombus. Rhombus is basically a parallelogram and both the pairs of opposite angles are equal. All the four sides are equal and the diagonals will be bisecting each other at an angle of 90 degree. So we get over here if the diagonals are bisecting each other OA is equal to OC, OD is equal to OB. So that is the first thing that you must know over here. Then the sides are all equal AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to DA. Apart from this if we take the triangle AOB and AOD into consideration we will get over here these two triangles, triangle AOB will become congruent to triangle AOD on the basis of SSS or other criteria also can be applied. I have taken the simple SSS, the first criteria. So automatically these two triangles, if they become congruent, these two angles, the corresponding angles also become equal. So this angle becomes 90, this is a straight line, so each angle over here becomes 90 degree. And otherwise also we know that the diagonals bisect each other at an angle of 90 degree. This angle will be 30 and this angle will be 30 corresponding angles again. So now we take the triangle OAB, triangle OAB into consideration. Now from this triangle OAB we can write here cos 30 degree, cos 30 degree is equal to OA upon AB. This is equal to OA, we don't know, we'll have to find out the value. So OA upon 20. Cos 30 is root 3 by 2, so root 3 by 2 is equal to OA upon 20. So OA we get as 10 root 3. And since oh, this oh, AC is double of OA, AC is equal to 2 times OA, so this becomes equal to 20 root 3. Now from the same triangle, if we take sine 30, sine 30 will be equal to OB upon AB. OB upon AB. Sine 30 is half. OB we do not know. So OB by 20. So OB is equal to 10 centimeters. But again, BD is twice OB. BD is two times OB. So this becomes equal to 20 centimeters. So one diagonal measures 20 root 3, the other measures 20 centimeter. So here also the um, trigonometry with the help of trigonometry application uh, values, we could get the values of the, or the lengths of the diagonals of the rhombus. The next question is an equilateral triangle is inscribed in a circle of radius 6 centimeter. Find its side. So here, this is an equilateral triangle. So getting back to the properties of an equilateral triangle, all the three sides are equal. AB is equal to BC is equal to AC. And each angle uh, is equal to 60 degree over here. Now, if we take the triangles, uh, like supposing we consider CQ as the median from the vertex C to the base AB. So, if this is a median, then considering the triangle CQA and CQB, we get these two triangles congruent again by the criteria SSS. AQ is equal to QB. CQ is common, CA is equal to CB. So each angle over here is 30 degree. Each angle is 30 degree. And these angles are also equal by CPCP. So each angle becomes 90 degree over here. Similarly, uh, this angle also will be 30 and this angle will also be 30. This will also be 30 on the same basis. And we get 
uh, each of these angles. So now we can take any of the triangles over here. Let us consider the triangle OAQ. In the triangle OAQ, we get over here cos 30 degree. Cos 30 degree is equal to AQ upon OA. AQ, AQ upon OA. Now AQ, we have to find out and OA is given as 6. Cos 30 is with 3 by 2. This is equal to AQ by 6. So AQ is equal to how much? 3 root 3. But AB is again double of AQ, that is 2 times AQ. So this becomes 6 root 3 centimeter. So all the sides of the uh, triangle are measuring 6 root 3 centimeters. Next question is A and B are acute angles such that tan A is half, tan B is 1 by 2 and tan A plus B is equal to tan A plus tan B by 1 minus tan A tan B. Find A plus B. So we take this condition away, tan A plus B is equal to tan A plus tan B. So we'll put the values, tan A is half, tan B is 1 by 3 upon 1 minus half into 1 by 3. So this becomes equal to numerator on taking the LCM is 5 by 6. Denominator also comes as 5 by 6. So this is equal to 1. So this implies that tan A plus B is equal to 1, which means it is equal to tan 45 degree. So A plus B ultimately is equal to 45 degree. The next question is, prove that root 3 plus 1 into 3 minus cot 30 is equal to tan cube 60 minus 2 times 60. So take the left hand side again over here, we get here root 3 plus 1. From here we put the value of cot 30, cot 30 is root 3. So this becomes from these two terms we can take out root 3 common. So this will be root 3 plus 1 into root 3 minus 1. Now we can take out, uh, rewrite this as a plus b and a minus b as a square minus b square formula. So this becomes root 3, 3 minus 1, that is equal to 2 root 3. So left hand side is 2 root 3. Taking the right hand side, right hand side is 1 cube 60. So that means root 3 whole cube. Sign 60 is root 3 by 2. So this 2 and 2 get cancelled. This becomes 3 root 3 minus root 3. So this is equal to 2 root 3. So the left hand side is equal to the LHS is equal to RHS. Moving on, the next question is, if x is 30, then verify that tan 2x is equal to 2 tan x by 1 minus tan square x. So again, if x is 30, 2x will be equal to 60 degree. So the left hand side over here is tan 60 degree, that is equal to root 3. Left hand side is root 3. Right hand side over here will be 2 into tan 30, that is tan 30 by 1 minus tan square 30. This is the right hand side. Putting the values of tan 30, this becomes 2 into 1 by root 3 by 1 minus 1 by root 3, the whole square. So this becomes equal to 2 by root 3 divided by 1 minus 1 by 2, that is 2 by 3. So ultimately, after simplification, we get the numerator as root 3. So we get here the right hand side also root 3, left hand side also root 3. So these were some of the different type of questions that we have done over here in applications of uh, trigonometric ratio. And you need to practice more of these type of questions to become thorough with it. So with that, we come to the end of this video. We'll continue with trigonometric identities in the next video. Thank you for watching. Hope you like the contents of the channel. Kindly like, share and subscribe to the channel.